an interesting space where robots are now being used a lot is in underwater applications. Underwater robots can play an important role in the offshore oil and gas industry, the defense sector, maritime research and rescue, oceanographic research, underwater archaeology and environmental monitoring. Underwater robotics is making exploration cheaper and more accessible. However, this market has been largely untapped in India with little or no technological developments to explore the potential. However, in the past recent years, there has been some work done in the area of underwater technology with several Indian startups coming forward with scientific innovations to push India's marine robotics. One such company is Chennai-based Planis Technologies. This technology startup provides underwater robotic inspection and survey solutions using indigenously manufactured remotely operated vehicles or ROVs. Started by a group of innovators at IIT Madras in 2015, Planis is the first and currently the only original equipment manufacturer of ROVs in the Indian subcontinent. If you look at the Indian coastline, that's around 7,500 kilometers, which is a huge potential for a country like India to venture out in the open ocean and make use of, of the resources that are there in terms of uh, economic exploitation as well as in terms of defense security. So, driven by these two motivations, um, uh, we started Planis with a goal to build underwater tech that can be used for uh, uh, beginning with underwater inspection, it can be taken to defense and other economic sectors as well. Planis technology doesn't just make devices for underwater mapping, but provides start to finish solutions for any of these customers. These solutions are powered by four core elements. An underwater drone. This is a small portable device that can be carried to any location. The goal has been to keep these platforms extremely portable so that there is ease of operation at any time. These drones have the capability to reach a depth of 100 to 120 meters carrying different kinds of payloads and sensors with the ability to operate in different kinds of environments. Data capturing techniques. The key value through all these operations is the data that is captured. The data is accessible on a digitized reporting platform. Data representation platform. This is where all the data is displayed and recorded for further processing. Planis has the first of its kind AI enabled data representation platform. And finally, a skilled operator team. A skilled operator team have been trained for several years to operate the remotely operated vehicle. ROV in different kinds of environments like open waters, offshore, confined spaces. The operator team is trained to operate, get the right data and present it in the right format to the client so that data-driven decision-making is much more feasible than it was earlier. Uh, one of the fundamental challenges that planners noticed in the market was uh, misorganization of data or in some cases no organization at all. Uh, which is a significant limiting factor for any asset owner in making decisions, in making data driven decisions. Our data, our uh, data organization platform uh, organizes the data, stores it for long term uses and also provides meaningful interpretation that helps the decision making easier and allows comparison of various perspectives uh, uh, and thus ensuring that uh, right decisions are taken at the right time. So how exactly does the team put together these robotic solutions? They conduct a site visit where state-of-the-art methods are used to understand environmental conditions, structural conditions and methodology to retrieve data for the client. This information is used to configure the ROV and its systems, the payrolls and the sensors. The appropriate launch and recovery method is deployed and the operator is steered to the right location where the inspection has to be carried out. Once the ROV reaches the location, the client is also invited to witness the inspection in live conditions. 
Then the data is recorded. The same routine is repeated till all the required data is collected. The team brings back the data to process, filter and streamline it. It is then uploaded on the digital reporting dashboard. Planis is currently working in different sectors such as offshore, nearshore and onshore. Offshore projects include inspection of jacket platforms, offshore gas structures, single boy moorings, SBMs. In nearshore sector, Planis provides tech solutions for ports, harbor, jetties, terminals and the oil and gas and shipping industry. In the civil sector or onshore sector, they inspect dams, irrigation channels, bridges and also the working in the processing industry for the inspection of pipelines and storage tanks. Planis now has products with specific types of ROVs for different applications. These include a special series of pipeline inspection, tank inspections and open water inspections. Planis has a complete in-house team that engineers, manufactures, assembles, tests and runs the product. The raw materials, the components, the devices, majority of them are made by Planis or obtained from other local players and very occasionally imported. The company's goal has been to not just develop products in India but also to take them across the globe. Planis has been able to push scientific innovation that has brought India on the map for marine robotics and underwater surveillance. Planis technology is currently operating not just in India but four different geographies including the Middle East, Singapore and Europe too. I think the Atmanirbhar vision is an excellent initiative. Um, we believe that it is driving a change in the way key decision makers in India think about usage and deployment of technology in day-to-day -day applications in different industries and this is very much visible from the fact that uh, the procurement norms for deployment and purchase of ind indigenous tech is now focusing more and more on uh, com companies or uh, products that are developed and built in India which is a very key motivating factor for startups and small companies like us. Science and technology in new arenas like this can push India's development in the global arena. Institutions both in the public and private spaces that emphasize scientific innovations can push our economy and propel our journey to self-sufficiency.